Hello, Eli, how are you? Fine, teacher, finish my work. What about you? Nice, I'm still working. <laughs> yeah, still working, I but never, I never stop. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be free nice. in a moment. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. All right, very good. What about you, Lydia? Hello, how are you? Hi, all fine, and you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for being early. I'm sending a message to you guys. So we're gonna continue with uh, yesterday's topic, guys, because it seems that that was a little bit um, difficult, All right? So we're gonna continue with noun clauses. Um, but before we do that, okay, let me get in contact with uh, everybody else. So how was your day, Lydia? Did you exercise today? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is my favorite part of the, of the day. All right, that's good. That's good. That is good. All right, so I want to send a message to the guys here. Hey, by the way, guys, did we finish the um, section one already? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Very good. All right, guys. Let's see. So if you receive a message right now, just be aware that that's, that that's, um, that's a broadcast message, right? Very good, guys. So uh, let's move on, all right? Let's continue where we left Garrett. off yesterday. I'm sorry, what happened? Girls. Yeah, girls. Not guys. Yeah, yeah. I know. All right. Uh, <laughs> Hey, where is Italia? Talking about that, where is Italia? Have you, do you know about her? Italia comes like to the first two classes and then disappears and then comes back to the last two classes. All right, uh, very good guys. So uh, let's continue guys. Uh, so noun clauses, okay? So Ellie, how do we use noun clauses? Do you want an example? Let's get an example. An example. Mm -hmm. Um. You need a sentence. Yes. Give me, <laughs> a, you need to... give me a sentence. <laughs> or read. No, you can give me a sentence, right? First of all, okay. So, um, uh, so this is the issue that we we're having. Uh, this is the. This is one of the things that we were having an issue with yesterday, right? Um, when we use an out close, guys. Okay. They're going to be introduced by what, uh, Ellie? How do we introduce them? So, how do we start? Um, a noun clause. Uh, in this with, a, huh? with a noun. <laughs> okay, no, no, it's not with a noun. Okay. We start them with, it's, it's on the screen, guys. Connectors. All right. Uh, okay, it's called connectors. All right, it's called connectors. Uh, all right, so what type of connectors do we have? What type of connectors? Yes. So what type of connectors do we have? Um, all these? What are these All right. Very good. Okay. So we have we have that. We have uh, if whether. Okay. So um, all right. So the now closer. I don't know. If it, by this I don't know. 
Huh? I mean, I don't know if you can give me a moment. I'm still pretty busy, but I will answer in, um, when I get my notes. All right. Um, and right now, maybe I can't think clearly. Um, and go ahead to explain. <laughs> All right, that's that's okay. That's okay, right? All right, let's work with Lydia so far, guys. Right now, okay? All right, Lydia. So um, I'm just gonna share the screen here. Let's talk about examples, guys. Okay? All right. So first of all, Lydia, let's start with that connector. Okay? If we're gonna do a now clause, we have to start with that connector. Okay? All right. So give me a connector, Lydia. Any connector? Okay. Uh, whoever. Whoever. Okay. All right. So whoever, very good. Now, let's continue the phrase, right? So whoever. Hello, Miguel, welcome. Whoever means like anyone, right? Whoever is the synonym for anyone. Who right. took my books is a problem. Wh whoever took my books, okay? Whoever took my books, okay? Very good. Whoever took my books, all right. Now, uh, is a bad person. very good. Is a bad person. Is a bad person. Very good job. All right. So, where is the noun clause here, Miguel? Whoever took my books. Whoever took my books. Okay. All right. Why is this the noun clause? Why is whoever took my books the noun clause? Remember guys, the structure, the structure is a noun clause plus what? A noun clause plus what guys? Plus a verb, okay, plus a verb and then what? An object or? Okay, the object of the sentence. Okay. All right, is this, is this the right, um, is this the right structure guys? Yes, no, maybe. What do you think? Uh -uh. No? Mm -mm. What is the structure then? <laughs> guys, yes, guys, of course, right? So, all right, so we have the noun clause. So this is what I want you to understand, it, okay? We have the noun clause. You started with a you started with a connector, right? You have the noun clause, okay? Whoever, what, that, okay? All right, just make a noun clause, and then you're gonna use a verb, okay? And that's it. And then just use a complement if you want to call it like that, right? All right, very good. That's all you have to do. So in this case, okay, what is the what, what is the verb that we're using? The verb that we're using is is, right? Whoever mm -hmm. took my books is the noun clause because, okay. Pretend, you know what a noun is, right? Uh, Lydia, Ellie, Miguel, you know what a noun is, right? Yeah. All right. So this whole thing, right, whoever took my books becomes a noun. That's why it's called a noun clause, okay? Also notice, right, that after we use the connector whoever, right, what we are modifying, guys, uh, I'm sorry, what we're talking about here, guys, hold on. Let me raise this. If this is correct, say yes. Let's B. say let's let's put another example, guys. Okay. Using an automated right, you, 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 you can pause. You can pause the, the video. That's yeah. the best summary. All right, very good. All right, guys. So if I say, um, thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. Please listen. We can hear Miguel. We can hear. We can hear your audio. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. All right. So if I say Shakira, uh, Shakira is awesome, guys. Okay. Or, or if I say Shakira is, yeah, Shakira is awesome. Okay. Who are we talking about? Uh, Lydia? About Shakira. All right. If I say whoever took my books is awesome, who are we talking about? Um... For no one? No, no, no. Okay, in the first example, we're talking about Shakira, right? And Shakira yeah. is, 
Okay, Shakira is a noun, right? It is the subject, okay? The subject of, of, of the sentence, right? Right, Spe uh, specifically a noun, right? So if, in the second example, when we say, whoever took my books is awesome, compare the two, okay? Compare Shakira is awesome and compare whoever took my books is awesome, okay? What mm -hmm. is the noun here? What is the noun clause here? Whoever took my books. Very good, whoever took the books is the noun clause. Now, why is it called, why is it called the uh, noun clause, Lydia? The reason why is because uh, it is a noun, but it's a group of words, got it? The reason why this all works as a noun, but it is a group of words, not one word, right? It's just not a noun, so that's why it's a noun clause. If you wanna remember, if you wanna, if it is easier, you know, for you guys to to um, to remember this, like, like um, easier, you know, you can pretend that instead of uh, a noun clause, this is called, um, this is called a uh, noun group, okay? So whoever took my books is the noun, all right? Works as the noun, okay? Very good. Uh, let's have another example, Miguel, all right? And let's see if we can identify him. Let's see. Also notice, guys, Shakir, in this case, is the subject, right? Whoever took my books here, what is it? What is it, uh, Miguel? Okay, whoever took my books, no, the whole clause, the whole clause, what is it? It acts as the subject too, right? Okay, subject plus verb plus complement, okay? Right? All right. So they get the same here. Shakira is subject plus verb plus complement. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see, Miguel. Give me another example. Okay. Wherever. Okay. Where, wherever. Very good. Okay. Now clauses are subjects. Okay. Okay. So if I say wherever, uh -huh, wherever. Wherever you can be happy. Wherever, wherever, I'm sorry, what? You sound wherever. far away from the microphone. <laughs> wherever you can feel happy. Wherever you can cook happily, you mean? No, feel. Okay, where, wherever, okay, wherever you can feel happy. Is. Is. Where your home is. Is where your home is, okay? Is where your... <laughs> Home is very good. All right. So in this case, okay, what works as the subject of the sentence, Lydia? So if I say wherever you can feel happy is where your home is. Think about the example of Shakira. In this case, what is Shakira? Okay, where is Shakira in this whole sentence? Uh, you. No, remember a clause, right? A clause is a group of words, all right? Uh, wherever you can feel happy is the clause. Okay, very good, okay, all right? And that is the, that works as what of the sentence? The subject. The subject, very good. Where's the verb after the subject? Is. Very good, okay, so you got the verb here, right? All right, and then we have the complement, right? All right, finally, good job, post for you guys. Woo, my God, very good. I think you finally got it, all right? So now, guys, hey, applause, guys, come on. <laughs> that was for you. Very good, guys. So these guys act as a noun, right? This acts as the subject of the sentence, guys, right? So now let's take a look at this as objects of the sentence, okay? What is the object of a sentence, uh, Miguel? The object of the sentence is what is spoken about. Okay. The... Very good, guys. It is what we talk about. Good job, right? So the object of the sentence is what we talk about. All right. Uh, so it is whatever we talk about, guys, okay? Okay, so let's take a look at the first example. Uh, let's see, Miguel. All right, let's, let's read the first example. 
Billy will jump. Okay, we didn't know that Billy will jump. So, where do you see the noun clause there? It's in the, that Billy will jump. Very good. That Billy will jump, right? Very good. All right. Uh, now, what connector are we using, Lydia? What connector are we using to introduce the noun clause? The, the, noun, the noun clause. Where? Sorry. Okay. I, sorry. That's I, right. I wasn't paying attention. All uh, right. There. That. Very good. We're, we're using that, right? Very good, guys. All right. So in the second example, um, Miguel, all right, where is the noun clause here? The noun clause is Fred is here and the connector is if. Very good. Okay. The connector is if and Fred, if Fred is here, well, actually, if Fred is here, the whole thing, all right, that is the noun clause, right? If Fred is here, all right? Where is the noun clause, uh, Ellie? Where is the noun clause in the third example? Um, uh huh. Actually, yeah, third example. Teacher, give me a second. I'm I'm, I'm working. Oh, okay. I'm oh, you're working. You're working. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, Lydia, where do you, where do we find the noun clause in the second example, in the third example, I'm sorry. Where he is. Okay, where he is, very good, all right. Notice guys that they are introduced by what? What are they introduced with, um, Lydia? Connector, connector. With that connector, very good job, all right. Notice something else, all right. What comes after the connector? What, what, what do you see after the connector? The noun. Very good, all right? You see the noun, okay? Although in this example, George eats whatever is on the plate, okay? Now, this is on the plate, guys. Whatever is on the plate, the, the reason why, guys, is because we're using whatever, whatever works as the, um, as the noun here, okay? Now, what is the difference, guys, between this all right, what is the difference between this and this? Between this and this, guys, what is the difference? In one, it's working as the subject, and in the other, it's the object. Very good, guys, okay, very good. That's that's the only difference. So could we say, guys, that Billy will jump is something I didn't, we didn't know? Can we say that? Could we say that Billy jump is something, well, actually, that Billy jumped, right? Let's change that into the past. That Billy jumped is something that we didn't know. Could we say something like that? Yes, guys, we could say something like that, right? In that case, it would become the subject, right? It would be a noun clause working as a subject, right? Okay, so what kind of other examples can we make? Okay, do my favor, guys, write down that structure, all right, because that's how we're going to make everybody write down that structure, unless you can take a picture in your mind. All right, all right, very good, okay, and let's give examples. All right, so let me give you the first example myself, okay? Let's talk about um, uh, Cheyenne. All right, so Cheyenne runs wherever he pleases, All right? So over here, guys, where do we find, where do we find the, uh, the noun clause? Wherever he pleases. Very good. Wherever he pleases, right? Are we following the structure? Mm -hmm. So, being the subject, once being the verb, and wherever he pleases being the object noun plus. Very good, guys. All right. Beautiful job, right? Very good, guys. So, everybody send me, guys, two examples in the chat room. Okay. Uh, Lydia, give me your example, Lydia.
It says I three of us, and we all have to participate. I'm sorry. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let me a little moment. Let all right, very good. Meanwhile, Miguel is going to tell us. All right, Miguel, let's go. I'm actually thinking of one. Oh, you're thinking of one? All right, very good. Marcos fixes anything you he can. Uh, Michael fixes. Marcus. Marcus. Oh, Marcus. Marcus. Okay, Marcus. Marcus fixes. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Kind of car he can. Whatever what? His, whatever kind of car he can find. Okay, whatever type of car. No, type of car. He can find. He can find. Okay, very good. All right, where do you see the the noun clause here? Whatever type of type of car he can find. All right, notice. Okay, notice something something funny about this, guys. Check this out, Miguel and everybody. I can say whatever type of car Marcus fixes. What, what is it? Uh, whatever, no, what type of car he can find? Oh, no, whatever type of car Marcus can find is something. I could say this, right? Right. Um, or whatever, my, uh, whatever type of car Marcus can find is something that can be fixed. All right. Are you see now? Now I'm I'm using it like the like the subject of the sentence, right? All right, very good job, very good example. All right, Lydia, let's go. You have your example ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. She knows. Uh huh. What she doesn't say. She knows what she doesn't say. Okay, very good. Very deep. All right. She knows what she doesn't say. All right, good job. Okay, where is the where is the noun clause here? Uh, she doesn't say. What, okay. What she doesn't say. All right, very good, guys. Okay, good job, good job, good job. All right. All right, guys, is that clear? Clear as tequila now. Or clear as water. What do you think? Is that clear for you, Miguel, Lydia? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's move on then. All right. Give me one second, guys. I'm bringing up the other presentation. All right, uh, meanwhile, give me another example. Um, Miguel? I come up with examples if I can think of them. I come up with examples if I what? If I can think of them. Okay, very good, okay. So I come up with examples if I can think of them, right? All right, very good guys. So, um, All right, so do the listening exercise, guys. All right, let's couple up, guys, and let's do the listening exercise, okay? There is a listening exercise here, all right, which is this one right here. So the 2.5 exercise, okay? So do my favor, guys. Let's finish this right now, uh, exercise 2.2, if you have not finished it, okay? Uh, so exercise 2.2. And uh, also, watch this video, guys, all right? So you can get vocabulary, and we're going to do this listening exercise as well, okay? All right, so let's, uh, well, we don't have another couple, so let's work in trios, guys, okay? All right, let's go, guys. And uh, it says, Mari works where she can find employment. I come up with example if I can't think of it. Very good. All right. Uh, have you finished the exercise 2.2, guys? Miguel? 
Yep. Lydia, um, Ellie? Oh, you have? Okay, all right. Okay, if you have finished then, all right, let's go with exercise 2.5 demo, okay? Okay. So the listening exercise, all right, let's go. All right, let me know when you finish, guys. I'll give you a couple of minutes. Well, have you finished, Miguel, Lydia, Ellie? I was in the middle of it. The okay, right. listening. Yeah, it's listening. All right. All right, very good. All right, let's do it then. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought that I didn't know if you had already done it at home. So let's go. Listen again. 
Answer the question. Teacher, I get confused in the last part of the listening. Tell me what happened. So what, what part? The last part of the listening, let me see. Uh, 2.5. All right, but what, what's, what specific? The second part. No, I know, I know, the but what do you mean? The what, what's the confusion? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you have to give a full answer. So, well, it depends on the question. In the first example, guys, what's the name of the store? You're just gonna type in the name of the store. But that's it, just the name of the store. What is the prescription number? 
you can uh, you can say it is or his prescription number is. It's not receptive. All right. Um, all right, we'll check on that. Maybe it's the answer is incorrect, right? But you can start with his prescription number is or it is and the number. Remember the number, guys, is separated into two uh, groups, okay? Uh, and the third example, guys, in the third question, what is his phone number? Again, his phone number is, or his phone number is with uppercase H. And separate the phone number with, with dashes, guys, okay? Remember that a phone number needs to be separated by dashes. Um, what time does he want to pick up his prescription? At nine or, well, I mean, uh, you can say he wants to pick, it up, to pick up his prescription and then give us the time. I don't, he wants know, to pick how up the I don't know how to write the number, the numbers because I tried a lot and I can't, I can't find the right way. All right, that's okay, that's okay. We're gonna see, uh, we're gonna go through it together then, okay? Very good case. All right, let's uh, let's get the answers, guys. So, uh, Lydia, what's the answer for number one? Um, B. Okay, very good. Um, uh, so he can't feel it. Okay, very good. I part two. So, what's the name of the store? Dial Right Pharmacy. I did not understand that. What is it, guys? Dial Right Pharmacy. Pharmacy. All right, so dial. Whatever happened here? So dial. Right. Can you spell. Can you spell the rest. Right. Right. R e t. Air. 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 Not air. I'm R. sorry. Uh huh. Pharmacy. All right. So R comma dial right comma. No. Without comma. Is that it? Is that the name of the store, guys? Yeah. The All Right Pharmacy. Pharmacy. All right. All right. Pharmacy. Right. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. What is the prescription number? What is his prescription number? All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me one second, guys. So, 0442 and then. Seven. Seven. Zero. Zero. Okay. Eight. Eight. Three, seven. Three, seven. Okay. All right. She, you should look something like this. Okay. It is. Okay. And then there are, there are two groups, guys, of numbers. Okay. Very good. Uh, Lydia, number three, what is his phone number? I don't remember the phone number, teacher. Oh, God. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, Ellie, do you remember the phone number? Mm, let me see my answers. Uh, five, five, five. Okay, what is it? Five, five, five. Uh huh. Three, three, three. Five one two three. Five one two three. Okay. Five 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 three 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 five one two three. All right. Don't forget about the dashes, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, Lydia, do we have the last one? Yeah. It right. is nine. Uh -huh. Nine. Okay. At nine. All right, so let's see if that works. Right, so first part is good. All right, what happened with this one? Should we use capital letters here? I tried a lot. All right, Miguel, what, what answer do you have, Miguel? I I have tried. It is like like it is like there. Okay. And I have tried. But the phone number is this incorrect. Is I mean, the, the perception number is incorrect, guys. That's that's the mistake here. You gave me the wrong. What? 
You gave me the wrong prescription number. Can we hear it, it over there? I'm pretty sure that that's what I heard. Price. Yeah, it's 04227 08837. All right, the phone number, right? It's um, the phone number is okay. Okay, yeah, we have we had to type it in like this. Okay, so his phone number, his phone number is, and then the phone number that you gave him. Okay. All right. So that's it, guys. Oh. All right. So try to do it this way. Okay. So try to try to get those two answers this way. All right, guys. So we good? We good? We good? We good? We good? Can we move on? Miguel, Lydia, Ellie. Yeah. All right. Very good, guys. All right then. Here we go, guys. Hey, how do you ask a question? How do you ask a question, Miguel? How do you ask a question without making a question? Well, usually it's when you are asking yourself. Um, okay, all right. You ask a question without making a question with indirect questions, guys. All right, with what? With what, guys? Indirect. With indirect questions. Very good. All right, very good, guys. So that's that's what we're going to talk about right, about, uh, right now, okay? All right, so Ellie, help me read. Tim? But simple and complex indirect or in indirect in indirect questions. Simple indirect questions use statements, statements, words, order, and begin with expressions such as such as I wonder, I like to know, or I can't understand. Will we will be able to get a taxi letter. Will I, will, will I be ab able to get a taxi letter? I wonder. I wonder if I'll be able to get a taxi letter. Later. Repeat, guys. Later. 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 Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So in the first example, guys, do you think that this is a direct or indirect question? Direct. What do you think, guys? Direct. Okay, that is a direct question. Why? Why? Why do you think it's called a direct question, Lydia? Sorry, I was complete the, the activity. A, okay, all right. Sounds good. That's exactly that's a question. All right, guys, it's a direct question because you use the structure of a question, okay? That's it. That's the reason you use the structure of a regular question, all right? How are you? What is your name? Where did you go yesterday? All right, all of those are direct questions, okay? So why are they direct questions, uh, Miguel? Because they have the structure of a question. Okay, because they have the structure of a question. Very good. So now notice the second example, guys. Also, guys, you're going to identify, guys, direct questions by this, okay? Direct questions always have a, how do we call that? How, how we, all right. Question mark. How do we call it, guys? Question mark. Okay, question very good. Mark. We call it a question mark. Okay, so they're always going to have a question mark. Okay, now indirect questions, indirect questions will not have a question mark. Okay, got it? Got it? Got it? Very good. All right. Okay, so, but notice something, guys. Okay, indirect questions are asking the same question. So, in the first example, will I be able to get a taxi later? All right. Now, uh, let's read the second example, Lydia. I wonder, we, how do you say that? 
I wonder if. I wonder if we'll be able to get a taxi later. Oh, I wonder if I'll. Repeat, I wonder if I'll. I'll if I'll get a taxi, I get, I get, I'll, I'll be, be able. able to get a taxi later. Very good job, okay. Now guys, am I asking, am I asking a question? Well, first of all, guys, if I say I wonder, do you know the meaning of I wonder? Sort of. Oh, I right can really give the meaning, but I sort of know the meaning. Okay, very good. Right? We're, we're going to go through that vocabulary, guys, in a moment, okay? All right, guys. But basically, guys, this is a direct question. This is the indirect question. Now, why is it indirect, guys? Because... It's, it's like in una pregunta con escuela, right? <laughs> right? Because you're asking, you're saying a sentence, guys, but you're not asking, you're not, you're asking a question. So you're asking a question, but you're using a sentence, okay? I wonder if I'll be able to get a taxi later. It is it's exactly the same as saying, will I be able to get a taxi later? All right? So far, so good. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Lydia, Ellie? Yeah. All right. Right now, complex, complex, indirect questions, guys. Um, what do we use them for, Ellie? Help us read. To help you read. Yes. Complex, in, 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 indirect or indirect. All right. Um, How? Do, how what is, what is the right pronunciation of indirect or? Indirect. I'm right. You can say indirect, indirect. or indirect, okay. yes. Uh -huh. Complex indirect questions also use statements, word, order. In addition, they begin and end with clauses or phrase with B. With Very good job, guys. Okay, so. Let's take a look at the first example. Uh, Lydia, help me read the first example. Will I be able to get into the class? Very good, will I be able to get into the class, okay? Now notice something, guys, okay? I'm gonna use a phrase, guys, to start this and direct question. My big concern is whether I'll be able to get into the class or not, right? We could add or not there, right? How can anyone afford them? How anyone can afford them is beyond me. All right. All right. Now let's take a look at that vocabulary, guys. So you understand. So you understand the meaning of that. Someone's blood boiling. Hold on. All right, guys, so let's get the vocabulary. Let's get the vocabulary here. All right, guys, so let's analyze the pronunciation. I mean, let, let's analyze the meaning of these uh, phrases, guys, okay? All right, so repeat, guys. On someone's nerves. Repeat, on someone's nerves. On someone's nerves. All right, very good. What is the meaning of on someone's nerves, guys? All right, everybody repeat. Miguel, Ellie. Right, I need to repeat it, right? On someone's nerves. On someone's nerves. Very good. On someone's nerves. So you can say, guys, okay? All right, uh, you can say drive on, someone ner on someone's nerves, drive someone mad, or drive someone's blood boil, or drive someone crazy, or get on someone's nerves, or make, well, I, could, I wouldn't say make on someone's nerves, okay? All right, but you can say, guys, get on someone's nerves, get on someone's nerves, okay? So what is the meaning of getting on someone's nerves, guys? Making them angry. Very good, guys, okay, all right. So that phrase, guys, means to make someone angry, all right? Write it down in your notebook, guys, okay? What about drive someone crazy, guys? What is the meaning of driving someone crazy? Same. Hey, do you remember the song from Britney Spears? Crazy? 
you drive me crazy. Okay, that is the meaning, guys. Driving someone crazy, guys, is um, Jesus Christ. Driving someone crazy is like like uh, somebody is, is getting you really, really mad, or you're or or somebody's getting you in love. Okay. Oh my God, you drive me crazy. Like I'm I'm crazy for you. When you say you drive me crazy, guys, it's like saying like saying I am I am. You know, it's like saying, I'm crazy for you, okay? All right? It's like, say, like, it's, it's like the other person telling you that they're crazy for you, okay? If you say, you're driving, me, you're driving me crazy, okay? It means that you're getting crazy because of the other person. But it means, guys, okay, that you're getting really, really upset or you're getting in love, okay? Got it? All right? Yeah. Very good. Um... Get someone down, guys, okay? What is the meaning of get someone down? It is to disappoint them. What is it, guys? Disappoint. All right, it is to disappoint them, okay? Drive someone mad, guys. What is driving someone mad? Drive them angry. Get them so angry. Nervous. Very good, okay? It's like getting someone. It's, it's, in, it's in for driving someone crazy, guys. Okay, You're driving me mad, all right? Very good. Uh, what about getting someone sick, guys? Or what is that? Really tired about that another person. Very good, guys. It means that you okay. It doesn't mean that that person is literally gonna get sick, okay? It means that I'm getting I'm getting tired of you, okay? All right, Lydia, mm -hmm. you're getting me sick, okay? Or right, someone sick, guys. That doesn't mean of that. Okay? <laughs> Kidding. All right. So when you're angry with your toxic or toxic uh, at your toxic or toxic guys, okay, you can say something like this to, um, to talk about to let them know that you're angry at them, okay? Uh, someone up the wall, very very good guys. What is the meaning of someone up the wall? Getting someone up the wall. What do you think about that? You make overcross her or his limit. I don't know how to explain. Okay, that's a that's a very good explanation. Okay, so getting someone off the wall. Uh, I'm sorry. What do you say about limits? Uh, over close. Uh, uh, I don't know how to explain, but but I I got it. Reaching a person's limits. Yeah. Okay. Reaching a person's limits, okay? Actually, guys, this means um, something strange or unusual, okay? So getting someone off the wall is, is something, you know, getting them, like, something strange or unusual, okay? What about is uh, someone someone's blood boil? Getting yes, or making really someone angry. very good, okay? Someone really, really angry, okay? All right? What about uh, making, well, actually, uh, getting <laughs> someone's goat? I have no idea. What is it? You're crazy, what is, what you like a dump, like a... <laughs> well, what, you, what is your idea, Miguel? I have no idea. Oh, you, you have no idea? You, I thought you said you had an idea. I have a, I have a hear about it, but I, I, this is something like um, when somebody... Tonto? <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's the right way to use, but I think. <laughs> All right. Actually, guys, that means to get someone's goat means to get someone angry. All right. Oh, good. To get it, to get him really, really angry. Okay. I haven't even heard that one used. So also, I guys, if you say you're getting under my skin. That's also another phrase for saying angry. that you're angry, okay? Getting someone's blood boiling, it means that you're getting them angry too. Got it? All right. Very good, guys. Very, very good, okay? Uh, so far, so good, guys? Yeah. So far, so good? All right. Very good. So uh, so let's wrap this up, guys, okay? So let's get that vocabulary finished here. Right. There is an exercise here. There you go. All right, guys, so all these phrases, guys, are to talk about annoyance. What is it, guys? What do we use them for? Annoyance. Annoyance, guys, okay, all right. Dude, you're driving me crazy. 
All right, you're driving someone up the wall. Uh, you're getting on my nerves. Uh, you're getting under my skin. You're uh, you're getting me down. You're getting you're getting my goat. You're making me mad. I'm making you're making me sick. You're making my blood boil. Got it? So substitute someone, guys, with with a pronoun if you want a pronoun or a noun. Okay. Very good, guys. Right. So is that clear, guys? Yep. Yeah. All right. Very good. All right. Let's practice. Okay. So, Miguel. All right. Without mistakes, tell me what is something that drives you crazy. Well, something that drives me crazy is when I can't find the, my mechanic pencil. Very good. Okay. Something that drives me crazy is when I can't find my my mechanical pencil. Pencil. Mechanical okay. Pencil. Very good. Uh, Lydia, what is something that uh, that makes your blood boil? Um. I don't know how to say in English, but uh, let me think a little moment. When some people talk uh, and give advice ideas for another person. Okay, uh, you have to say something that makes my blood boil. Uh -huh. <laughs> something that makes my blood boil is when other people say bad things to other people. Okay, oh, when, when other people say bad things to other people. Okay, very good. Yeah. Or Ellie, what is something that makes you sick? Um, when I need to do something fast and I do everything bad and I, this really got me I, like that. Okay. All right, very good, very good, right? So was that clear, guys? Yes? All right, very good. Yeah. All right, guys, so it's time already, guys, to get another class in coming. Uh, that is finally that sending me a message because, <laughs> because of her job and she's going to be here. Okay, very good. All right, guys, if you have any questions, guys, please hit me up on WhatsApp. Do me a favor. Um, well, we're not gonna we're not going to do this exercise yet, guys. We're going to do it together tomorrow. But uh, I, I would really like you to listen to the pronunciation of these phrases, okay? All right, other than that, guys, beautiful job. Any questions, guys? No. Yes, no? Very good. All right, guys. So, see you around, guys. Good night. Have a nice night. Good night. Good night, guys.